if you had any kind of final advice about writing, publishing, um, or maybe be your top like two or three things that are kind of look out for this if you're just getting started or something. Mm -hmm. um, so I think connecting with other writers is a really great thing. As much as I've been like crapping on social media, um, it's useful for that, for meeting like other people because you can, you don't have to stay on social media. There's so many discord servers that you can join and just connect with other writers. The value in that being you have a sense of community. You have people that you can share your writing with because it's quite a lonely endeavor, right? Like you're sitting and writing a story it can be quite cut off, you know, and having other people that enjoy writing. Cause like we said, other people who aren't writing aren't sitting there thinking about stories all the time. Whereas right. other writers understand what it's like to have that compulsion to, to want to tell these stories and that feeling of excitement when you come up with a new idea and stuff. So I think that's really valuable. And that's something that's definitely a positive that comes from social media, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so I definitely encourage that because it also means you can meet like critique partners and you can swap things. And that's a really useful thing that you do not want to skip, you know, having, having those kind of levels of feedback from people. Yeah. Um, second bit of advice, probably the going back to the idea of not putting pressure on yourself. So don't feel like because other people have got a set goal of writing thousands of words a week that you have to do that as well. Because, again, it's something that you see kind of the the downside of connecting with other authors on social media is that comparison stuff that comes in. So you do see what other people are doing and you see kind of the progress they're making. Um, and that can make you feel quite down if it's not something you'll be able to achieve yourself. But everyone's circumstances are unique, whether you're a parent, whether you're working a full time job, whatever it is, writing has to be whatever works for you um mm -hmm. whether that is you know you're writing in the evenings or weekends or whatever just do what what feels best for you don't feel like you have to have a pressure and compare to other people and meet all those those kind of goals that other people are working towards mm -hmm. yeah i think that's the best thing to do yeah yeah and i think that pressure one's real big i think mm -hmm. i think about that a lot because i used to have that you know you even talking with authors like i've been doing you know, I was talking to one guy and he, uh, Jonathan Weiss, and he's been trying to put out a book every five months and wow. he's doing it. And it's, that's great. But it's like, mm -hmm. it's all, you always have that twinge of, well, why am I not doing that? Mm -hmm. Even though that's like yeah. a completely absurd question, you know, <laughs> like it's totally absurd. Like everyone's life mm -hmm. is so different. Everyone is, mm -hmm. all people are so different. And so mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think that one's a huge one because it can, mm -hmm. I think it can paralyze you too. Like it can stop you from mm -hmm. doing it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it becomes this, this huge pressure and stress, isn't it? And that stops the creativity from flowing, as I've found personally. Mm -hmm.